yeah, obviously getting into Masai Mara, like, yeah, the camp is directly there and you just, um, yeah, you're, you're in this uh, awesome place that, yeah, you've seen like documentaries about and then... There's, there's been a lot, there's really like every day has brought its own uh, highlights, but I think probably the my highlight of the whole course was uh, when we saw a cheetah kill in Kenya. It was really special because we could see the whole situation develop. We saw the cheetah, it was a mother with three cups. We saw them first and they were just lying there very casually. And then we saw the mother slowly getting into, into hunting mode. And then we were looking, where, where is she looking? What is she seeing? Where is she approaching? And then we saw a, a Thompson's gazelle that she was going towards. And we could see this whole situation developing from her chasing the Thompson down and killing it and her, her and her cubs eating the whole thing. It was really interesting. And also since it was in one of the conservancies in Kenya, the people, the Maasai live around there. So we could, while we saw the cheetah on the kill, we saw Maasai people walking 20 meters away from there on a, on a road. It was really something special to witness, yeah. There was this one field trip we did to the Mara Triangle, where we we did the whole day in the, like the Masai Mara Reserve. Sort of. And then we drove back to the gate and then uh, we saw two surfal cats chasing each other. That was really cool. And then just when we thought like, oh, this is it, let's go back, sun was going down, we saw this black rhino mother with her young. So that was the first black rhino for me. So that's like, on the last day of the course, we, we went out uh, on a drive. Uh, it was, was in the afternoon and we went through, through the conservancies in, in Kenya to Leme Conservancy. We saw several female, female uh, lions and after I think half an hour or so they went up and then we saw a little baby cub. It was like three weeks old and it was playing around with the mother and jump, jumping on her back and yeah, it was I think the sweetest uh, thing I ever saw. I think I had a few, some really good experiences. So for me, one was we did a small course in February, which we just did the one month course. And we had an amazing instructor at the time, Zarek. And it was, it was nice to meet him the first time and just having a second time with him. It's just developing a friendship with somebody who's just, he's definitely become a role model for me. So that was one thing. And that I really loved about the course, having to be with him and learn more from him. And I think the second thing was one, being able to see so many bird foxes that had also been breeding. So we came to one sighting where there were, I think almost 11 baby bird foxes, which weren't more than three weeks old. That was spectacular. For sure, the surroundings in the, in the Mara, especially animals, sundowners, for sure, it was just, yeah, really, really great. Awesome to learn also from Kenyans about their land and about, yeah, all the, all the ecosystems with, with the Mara River, which is like the, yeah, the, the soul or the heart of, of the whole ecosystem. It's, it's, for me personally, it's, I think, the best, uh, the best thing I could do after school. So I, I wasn't really sure what to do and then I found eco-training online and it was just all really, really good and yeah, it really hit my expectations and it's just, just learning about nature, just see all those animal interactions and just, just beautiful to be out here in the nature without, without Wi-Fi, without phones. It's just yeah, a really cool experience, and I think everyone should, who who can, can do it, should should really try to do it. Yeah. Well, for me, it's really like what I see with myself. It's so, you know, you you get to know yourself on a different level. Like being in nature, and nature like resembles a lot of things in it teaches you about a lot of things about yourself and yeah. you really get to know who you are and like, being in the bush uh, it's an adventure for me really I'm, I'm liking it so far I'd say because 
First of all, like a lot of people on gap years, it opens their minds up to nature and to learning. And I think it's really important that people see the benefits of living in this world, in nature, and to just enjoy it. And eco-training can take you so far. I feel like we've lost so much touch with our natural side to the world and people have become so immersed with this city life and the need for electronics and gadgets and I think doing a course like this even if it's not the full year course it just brings out an experience that you wouldn't think of or experience otherwise. There's one thing going on a safari in a lodge and then doing a small course and I think you experience so much doing a course like this and learn so many new things that you just wouldn't know about otherwise. I'd say just go for it, just enjoy yourself. Don't, don't be in your head too much. Be yourselves and yeah, it's, it's, it's not too difficult. Like it's more of an enjoyable thing to do guiding and powerful to have knowledge and to learn. And yeah, eco-training is great with that, like, it's awesome, yeah. I would say just come in with an open mind. You'll have things that you will want from the course and the things that you think you enjoy. And I would say just come in with an open mind. There's so many things you'll learn about yourself that you would think you'd never enjoy. I mean, I, it has just shot off for me and it's a huge passion of mine now. I will always be looking for a bird. Hi everyone, if you enjoyed seeing this incredible wildlife footage and would like to know more, please follow us and hit these links in the subscribe button.